Hey, good evening and a very, very warm welcome. My name's Sean Ryan and tonight it is, of course, the Planet Cruise TV show, a show that I love hosting. Um, we've been bringing the show for 10 years. Tonight's lineup, however, I think, and you'll, I'm sure you'll agree with me when you see it, I think we've got the best deals we've had this year. Um, now, Justin's going to back me up on this. Brand new ships at incredible prices and something for absolutely everybody. And he's dressed up for the occasion. Just a nice... Well, the, the, look the, at you! So I, the thing was, when you said we've got the best line-up this evening, I was thinking, we've got Ruth from Celebrity, we've got Steph from b &O, and we've got Justin back. We've got you back, yeah, mate. Yeah. Nice I'll tell you what, though, how's, how's it been? Because I see we've gone all, all, all terminal here. It's we, gone we, blinking gold, hasn't it? Yeah, well, we've got some, some nice sunshine on our cruises, haven't exactly. we? Exactly. It's this time of the year now when you start looking towards next year, look towards that winter sun. We've got some great last-minute deals. We have. As well. And, dare I say the C word, Christmas. We've got Christmas markets, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, now, this year's what, Christmas markets. What I'm really excited about, we've got Steph from p brand new ship day owner. Yep. And she is stunning. Not just Steph, the ship as well. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, because I'm in a whole world of trouble here. <laughs> but, Very me. Um, uh, incredible prices, and everyone's talking about <laughs> Celebrity Edge. Um, she's going to be sailing out of the med next summer, and we've got the most incredible offers. In the ship. Are we on about the ship still? Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> And, and Ruth's looking spectacular oh, tonight as well from Celebrity. I'm back for five minutes and it oh, all goes dear. to pot, um, huh? What else have you missed me? Up? We've got... I have missed you. Riviera. Yeah. River Cruise, Christmas markets. And I, and I know we've been joking about this, but you know, since it, <laughs> it has hit the stores already, but it's one of the hottest topic, uh, trending topics on Twitter at the moment is Christmas markets. Yeah, and we've got this year's Christmas markets, uh, tours included, Riviera. It's a superb, superb day. Uh, and and uh, to finish the show, we've got an all inclusive with Celestial Cruises as uh, well. It, again, this is bestseller. It and is, the fact yeah. that as soon as we mention that we've got this, it's just yeah. people just go so, mad for it. So we are rather excited, we really are. Yes. Um, but we, we need to also, crack on. we have got some news from Cunard. They've just launched their 2020 sailings, haven't they? Yeah, and, and I, can't, I can't stress this enough. Definitely register on our website, get in early for the deals, because uh, with Planet Cruise, certainly, I know this is typical on, on several of the cruise lines, but we've got a 100% hit rate when it comes to uh, getting the cabins that yeah. you request. So, uh, you know, definitely book early. So, uh, here's how you can book in advance and register with Cunard. Hi guys, I've got an amazing announcement. Cunard has just released brand new 2020 voyages. This will allow you to explore the world in style and you can book these cruises today by calling the number on the screen now. If you book on a Cunard fare, you'll ensure your choice of stateroom number and dining priorities. Receive free onboard spend, coach transfers or parking. Also, if you're a past passenger, you'll receive a 5% discount on all sailings. Plus, you can add that all-exclusive Planet Cruise discount of another 5%. But wait, that's not all. You can also secure your holiday for just 5% deposit with us, rather than the standard 15%. We here at Planet Cruise operate on a price match guarantee, so we match any price in the market. So what are you waiting for? There's never been a better time to book. So book with us here at Planet Cruise today. Just call the number on the screen. Remember, you dream it. We plan it. Oh, that's our fabulous Glenn there. Um, now, we also have a prize competition for you. Have a look at this uh, from Amadeus. Uh, so, one lucky person is going to win a seven night river cruise for two along the Rhine. And all you need to do is register now at planetcruise.com uh, forward slash en there. And I mean, just by registering, you are in with a chance now, aren't you? Exactly. We've also got some other giveaways a little bit later on. Oh, we have? Yeah, exactly. Ruth's going to be telling you about some fantastic candles yes. uh, that the first six bookings will get. And also, we've got a Celestial goodie bag giveaway as well. So we stay have. tuned. Yeah, we've got There's loads of giveaways. Lots, lots, lots in store. Uh, but we, we're going to start with an incredible offer with NSC. Um, does that say balkan on the screen? Yes, it certainly does. Does it and, say uh, 679? Yeah, but my no, eyes are going now. Just but well, it you. doesn't actually say. Well, no, no. Oh, look, there it is. There it is. What? Just tickle it. Just tickle it. One pound oh, yes. deposit per person. Terms and conditions apply. Um, I just want to say, yeah, you know, with, with, there, if you're if you're a first time viewer, you're probably thinking, "Cracker, there's all this all these details on the screen, and I've never been cruising before." Even if you have been a regular viewer, if you've ever got any questions, you can always ask the cruise specialists about yeah. what's included, whether it's the port tax or the, um, uh, the, the flights, the transfers, 
just pick up the phone. We're here to answer your questions. And we are open, by the way, till about 10.30 tonight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, first thing about 8.30 tomorrow morning as well. And the numbers are uh, 0808 250 But MSC, let's let... We, we, the, the feedback we get from MSC ships is incredible, yeah. and you'll see why. They are so beautiful and opulent, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, well, this particular ship, the Preziosa, this is actually the fourth in the Splendida class um, that they have. And and, Splendida, sorry, uh, Fantasia class. That Splendida is one of the sister ships. Um, but lovely, lovely ships, fantastic uh, Mediterranean feel, of course, MSC, Mediterranean Shipping Company. You've got the 4D Cinema, F1 Simulates on, on board some of the ships, and fantastic ice cream parlours as well. Um, one of the things, definitely, for me that attracts me is that Mediterranean cuisine, that lifestyle, uh, and as you can see, some of the, the venues that are on board the ships, uh, whether they're fine class dining, whether it's just fast food, they look superb. Um, and remember, yes, you'll be on board this stunning ship, but you will have your own balcony. Mm. You're going to get a free upgrade from inside to balcony tonight. So this price is starting at 679. Excuse the excuse the pun if you really want to push the boat out. <laughs> Just get it in there early. Um, go for the Yacht Club. Yes. So the Yacht Club, for those of you not f familiar with uh, MSC, the Yacht Club is a private member's area. It's a key card that gets you into a completely separate 69 suites, um, your own concierge, your own private reception desk, early check-in. Um, you can book all the restaurants specifically through your concierge as well and exclusive areas on board the ship with panoramic views and sun lounges so that nobody else like can see. ship within a ship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, th think about when you're lucky enough if you've travelled business or first class and you go into the lounge and you go, you know, there's all, all these people behind the glass, you know, milling around at all the shops. You go, wow, isn't this a completely different experience? The Yacht Club for me, I'm walking through a door and people are going, what's through that door? I know, they don't. So if you have got a special occasion, yeah, just ask our, uh, our team for details. But I've got to say that the balcony there at 6 of an eye, I think it's amazing. It's a and it's a, it's a no-fly cruise as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, very, very true. And, and for, for me, um, this is a great just get away, do a little bit of city break. Yeah. The places that we're going to are superb. And in fact, out of Southampton, we're straight across to Zeebrugge. Um, and this is for the Port of Bruges. Now, of course, you're into Belgium. You've got fantastic town squares there. Um, and, of course, loads of uh, Belgian beer and Belgian chocolates as well. One thing I'd definitely recommend doing is a canal cruise as well. You've got mm. to do it. Um, so some of the bridges you think you can't cru cruise underneath there. No, you can. It really is remarkable. There's also some fantastic historic sites like Flanders Fields um, and the Church of Our Lady as well. And it's a really easy place just to kind of meander around, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a place I think you should go. It's one of those yeah, definitely. You, you need to... Have you been to Bruges? Why yeah. not? That's the thing. I haven't, um, been, to, uh, I haven't been to Rotterdam, though. No? No. Or, or Rome? Because anywhere is home. Uh, anyway, I um, dear me. Uh, no, this is actually an overnight <laughs> on board, and this this is fantastic. One one recommenda uh, re recommendation of the areas that you need to go is uh, Delftshaven, um, which is one of the historic quarters. Now, there's there's not much left of the original Rotterdam. It's a very very cosmopolitan, forward-thinking port, as you can see with some of the uh, the architecture that you've got there. Um, but just a fantastic place to wander around in the day. You'll find your nice little restaurants and bars. And remember, you can see the ship there. That is your port. You literally just go back to there, and that is your floating hotel. Uh, and then on to Hamburg. Hamburg. Have you ever been to Hamburg? I'm oh late. dear! I'm Hamburg, Why right. not? I'm letting you down. What a tonight. wonderful place! The town hall is fantastic. I, I know we're going to be talking about Christmas markets a little bit later on, but that was when I actually went to Hamburg. It's got some very special memories there. Um, you've got the Pauli District Reaper Barn as well, uh, the Beatles tours. Um, you've also got the Harbour Tour as well because sometimes you'll actually see some of the cruise ships in dry dock where they're being ref refitted and refurbished. So uh, yeah, take a look there. And also, if you do like ships, then the uh, the inland lake, the Alster. Um, is a, a lovely little river cruise um, or a lake cruise to take. Then you've got a nice relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to La Havre. Of course, this is the port for Paris. And I have um, been here. <laughs> you have been there. <laughs> yes, I, have. I haven't, actually. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a couple of hours in a coach from La Havre. The actual, the actual port of La Havre is absolutely lovely itself. It's one of those places that you just want to, again, have a wander around. But go into Paris, you've got so much to see and do there. Um, uh, and uh, that wraps up yeah. your seven days back to Southampton, finishing just a great cruise. And again, what a, what a deal to kick off with tonight. Seven nights for 679. And uh, just to recap, so you will get a brilliant upgrade tonight, a free inside to balcony cabin upgrade. Uh, now the drinks package is really affordable with MSC actually. You can add on an all-inclusive drinks package from just 24 pounds per person per night. 
Uh, now we've got that exclusive deposit starting from just a pound per person. So they, they're really popular when we do the pound uh, deposits. Uh, items, they differ slightly just depending on departure dates. And something that we, we like to offer you on, on most cruises from Southampton, if Southampton's a long way, you know, from where you live and you're not really driving down on the day and getting stressed, would really recommend taking the stress out and staying the night before in the Holiday Inn in Winchester. Now you can do that for only £95 per person and that includes a lovely breakfast, parking for the, the uh, week and your port transfers as well. Now prices, we are doing that free upgrade tonight, so uh, the balcony is the same price as the inside there. I mean, for a balcony, I think you'll agree on those uh, you know, dates for May, August and September, really, really outstanding value for it's got great prices on the suites as well. But we've got one of our absolute favourite guests of all time back on the sofa with us this hour. Many of you know I've been very lucky I've been on, I think it's eight celebrity cruises now. I'm always planning my next one. And I would love to cruise on their latest ship that's going to be launching in just a few months' time on the 18th of December. Am I right in saying Even that? Even before the that. A few days before is that. It? Is it? I will she? be out there on the 5th of December. Oh, so so envious. Know. So I envious. Know. But Ruth, lovely to have you back on the sofa. Lovely to be here. Lovely to see so both of you. Everybody's talking about the edge. They certainly are. I've actually and got goosebumps actually, to think I know, about, yeah. so have I. I'm so excited by it. Uh, but then, as you know, I don't get out much. Um, <laughs> but actually, even before Edge launches last week, we won yet another award no. as Ocean Cruise Line of the yeah. Year. Why, why should I be surprised? You shouldn't be. No. You know it's your favourite. I know. Eight, eight so, cruises with you. I know. Uh, and I will be, be cruising on the edge, just looking for the right date. Uh -huh. um, just before we begin, you've got something special for the first six bookings tonight. First six bookings tonight, as you know, Celebrity Edge, a lot of the ship is designed by the one and only Kelly Hoppen, and I have six gorgeous Kelly Hoppen oh. candles for the first six bookings wow, this and evening. They, they do smell divine. The, the whole studio smells of Kelly <laughs> Hoppen, doesn't yeah. it? It's gorgeous. Um, and just before we begin and show mm -hmm. you the Edge, um, You've got incredible prices for single ladies and gents, we haven't you? We certainly yeah. do, and we'll show you the price grid at, yeah. uh, later on. But it's actually for the infinite veranda. We actually have single infinite verandas. The supplement is only £60. Wow. So that then that we've already had sellouts on those, haven't we? We yeah. have. So that just gives you the heads up as yeah. well. But I'm going to enjoy she this. Is. Look, yeah, there she come is. on then, Ruth. Take us on board. Yes, well, I do want to take you on a whistle stop tour. We actually. Um, had our first visit to the shipyard last week. That's where this was filmed. And I must say, this is not a big ship. People see the pictures of Edge and go, she's so big. She is no bigger than Celebrity Reflection. Oh, really? 2,950 guests. Um, very much of the ship is designed by Kelly Hoppen. And we're going to take you on a whistle stop tour to show you how she's being built. So this is a time lapse video. These are the alcoves out at the pool deck and everything is designed to be outward facing. Here is the pool deck with the most fabulous pool and those are two-storey martini glass hot tubs. Now, look at that iconic funnel. That is gorgeous in itself. But here I'm taking you to the retreat deck, which is for our suite guests. So their own deck, their own lounge, their own restaurant. Now we're going to move to the rooftop garden and here you will have musicians in the trees, the rooftop garden grill, a taste of film. And first in the industry, infinite veranda staterooms, cashmere bedding, cashmere mattresses, Kelly Hop and designed, and iconic suites as well. And last week we introduced this, the Grand Plaza. That is a two-story light chandelier suspended over the martini bar. This is the central focus of the ship, the music, the entertainment. Here is Eden at the back of the ship, three decks of glass, chillful, playful, sinful, dining, entertainment, and of course the iconic magic, magic carpet. carpet. Absolutely, here you can have dinner on the edge. It's going Ruth. to be incredible. I want to watch that again. <laughs> I will send you the video and it'll be on the website. You can watch it again and again I just want you to say again sinful again. again. Oh, yeah, that was how you got me interested. <laughs> It is chillful in the morning in the cafe, playful in the afternoon with activities and events, and sinful at night oh, it, with a it. dining Stop and entertainment it. venue. Wow. <laughs> I mean, uh, breathtaking. I will watch that again later. Yeah, um, I do. But 
some of my favourite destinations. The, the itinerary. Wonderful this one is, itinerary. Oh, so yes. go on then, Justin. Where do we where do we begin? I, you know, where, where do you begin? French Riviera. That's where we're going. I think that just encapsulates it encapsulates it all really. When you see some of the ports that we're going to, it is the height of fashion, style, and luxury. Mm. Um, first of all, we're going to the port of Naples for. Capri and if you think about the Amalfi Coast, if you mm. think about Mount Vesuvius, it is just simply beautiful. Uh, lovely relaxing day at sea to enjoy the actual ship itself, edge, which yeah. Yeah, I'll be up in, in the Alcos easily. I just love the look of that up there. Then we're into Florence and Pisa. Now I know you, this is one of your favourite ports, isn't well, it? Well, I lived Vecchia in Italy for, for many, many years, so I speak the language. But Ponte, no, not personally. I'm not that old. <laughs> but oh, he's so cheeky. He isn't is he? cheeky but tonight. Ponte no, and David, Vecchio yeah. is absolutely stunning, and the cathedral—it's just the most wonderful city. Yeah, it is. It, it, you know, so that, that's, but I, if I you've did... been there, you can also go out to the Tuscan countryside oh, to done. places like Siena. Because we were, we were talking Gorgeous. about the restaurants oh. as well in the Tuscan straight away. Oh, There's four yeah. different restaurants on board, so I'm, I'm already going into what, what yeah, Ruth yeah. is going to be telling you a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, looking forward to that. Um, the next up is definitely one of my favourite ports of all time. We're going into Monte Carlo, we're going into Monaco. Mm. And, you know, if you're going in there for the day on a ship like this, it just completes it. You know, go to the Casino Square, go to Café de Paris, go to Princess Grace Gardens. There's some stunning mm -hmm. little beach restaurants and bars down mm -hmm. there as well. And wander around. Just just, just yeah. live as if, just imagine you're a, a multi-millionaire just I, for a day. I love people watching and car watching. <laughs> oh, exactly. Right. And actually, you're right, Justin. Monte Carlo and Celebrity Edge are a match made in heaven, yeah, are they not? Yeah. Okay. Um, then, uh, should we just pop down the French Riviera? Should we go to Cannes? Oh, yes. uh, we're not quite going to hit the film festival because this is a little bit later. Um, but it is that that feel, that flair. Why mm. do they have it down there? It is that red carpet feel again, very much fitting, uh, like Celebrity Edge. Uh, you, you, uh, just, just you saw the the uh, mm -hmm. sun loungers there. Mm -hmm. You can just imagine somebody serving you a beautifully chilled glass of Sancerre or a lovely yeah. rosé or something like that in a waistcoat. It's it's that real feel. Cans, you've got to go and just live it as if you're you're there and just do it. Don't, yeah. don't think about anything else, just go and do it. Um, then we're finishing off, and I love the tonic to this, a really nice, easy port that you can just relax into. Great for shopping, great for food as well. Mm. So if you love your food, there's, there's some lovely little marinas that you can pop off again, great for people watching. Uh, and Parma itself, stunning. Um, you've got the Belver Castle there, there's the, obviously the Gothic Cathedral, which dominates the actual uh, shoreline. And uh, for me, I'd, I'd want to go to the Caves of Drac, which is, yes. uh, there's yeah, four yeah. kilometres, there's four large uh, caves. There's actually an underground lake there, and I won't spoil it, but at the end, there's something quite spectacular. I don't know whether they still do it, but there's a little boat with four do. musicians. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Yeah. And then uh, Barcelona, where we disembark and, and yes. fly back, of course, to the UK. Yes. Um, can we see more of the edge? You yeah. certainly can. So here see, is the rooftop now, garden. I know I'll spend a lot of time there. Yes, and that we've seen it there day and night. There are musicians in the trees. We do a taste of film where we put a wonderful film up on the screen, but we serve you the dishes they are eating in the film at the same time. <laughs> it's a fabulous experience. The pool deck. Now, everything is outward facing, but there you can see the martini uh, glass hot tubs. They're two stories high. Wonderful art, a beautiful big, big pool as well. And then the magic, the magic carpet. carpet. Now this was designed for to be on deck two as an entrance to the launches. So you actually wait for the tenders, the launches on this, on deck two, comfortably, not a rickety gangway swaying about. Deck five, it is raw on five, so it is a sushi restaurant. And then deck 12, it is an extension of the pool or dinner on the edge on deck 16. And again, we're just looking at some of the other This is venues. Lumine and the retreat. So this is all for our suite guests. As you know, we've got iconic edge villas, iconic suites. The, the sweet and, guests and the have everything. are selling so quickly, Oh, they? there are very few and left. Now, I need now to the know, infinite yes. veranda. Can we so, go back oh, and just have a look at If that, we could sorry. go back one, Thank there you, you go. These are a first in ocean cruising. So um, there are regular verandas, but there are also these where the um, balcony is within your stateroom and you literally just turn the chairs around, press a button and the glass lowers. So you've actually got wow. the outside coming in, but we're outward facing again. And, Kelly Hoppen design. And we do have those for single ladies and gents we as well. We do, absolutely. Um, uh, now, Justin and I, we've picked this. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Do you know what? There are six edge villas, two-storey. 
you have your own plunge pool, an indoor staircase and an outdoor staircase. They are just incredible, but there is only probably a half a dozen maximum left across the whole summer Mediterranean wow. season. The, the only they drawback so with popular. that, yeah. I'd have to plan an outfit just to walk down the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. And then the iconic sweep, this is just us showing off, it is half the width of the ship. There are two iconic sweeps wow. as well. Yeah, I well, need to buy well, a lottery uh, ticket. Uh, let, let's show you what's included. Now, um, I, I love the classic drinks package with celebrities. Many of you know yes. you will get that on Ocean View and above. Uh, return flights are based on London, but we have got regionals starting at just £49 per person supplement. Mm -hmm. And if you book a balcony and above, and I, I would definitely, I'd want one of the infinite balconies, definitely if I could, then you would receive free airport parking or half price gratuities as well. If you want to stay in Rome, you can add on a hotel stay from £114 per person. And again, tonight we've got a Planet Cruise exclusive, a deposit starting from as little as a pound per person. Now let's just share the prices and um, say so we've got rooms, state rooms from interior all the way up to mm -hmm. the Sky Suites and the single infinite balconies. We've already had two complete sellouts. They're yes. amazing value, Ruth, aren't Incredible they? Incredible value. Well, normally people do moan at us because our supplements are very, very high because we give you a double state room, not a single. But we've actually created some single infinite verandas. If you look at the 13th of July, the infinite veranda is 2689. It's only £60 more to have that yeah. state room on your own as a single veranda which is incredible. Um, with the Aqua Class, what balconies do you get with the Aqua Class? Are you they... get an infinite you veranda do. with Aqua Class, and of course we have Blue Restaurant as well. Incredible spa, also designed by Kelly Hoppen. Not one Persian garden, but it's made up of eight wow. Persian and, gardens. Right, and just before we finish, I know we're always short of time, yep. um, well, we've got to get in the drinks package, obviously. We have, <laughs> yes. Which is amazing. Um, and you will get that on a ocean, an ocean view, view and, and above. above. And we love our classic drinks package. Everybody, mm. the minute we stop doing it, people stop booking. They go, yeah. no, we're waiting for you to do our drinks package. It's so and, inclusive. And, and obviously do drink responsibly. But what I love about the drinks package, I will start the day with some of your wonderful coffees. Absolutely, um, the specialty coffees, uh, yes. I do have, a, obviously, a lot of bottles of water throughout the day. But your morning aperitif, you know? Yeah, just <laughs> Absolutely. But, but your selection your, of spirits oh, and, and wines. the cocktails. Yeah. We call it a classic drinks package, but it includes so many premium yeah, brands. It does. It really does. Right, just before we finish, just to mention, and, and honestly, this, I, this really impressed me. Mm. You know, normally on most cruise ships, you have one main dining restaurant. Yes. How many have you got? Four. And they're There's all different, aren't they? There's not one main restaurant. There are four main restaurants. And they are Tuscan, with an Italian theme, Cosmopolitan, with an American theme, Normandy, with a French theme, and Cyprus, with a Greek theme, going back to our Greek and, heritage. And we can go in any You can request which one you would like. Um, but if you choose select dining, open dining, that, you can dine in any of those four whenever you yeah. like any night. Well, just fabulous. That. Now, obviously, we're over time, Ruth, as you can we imagine. We are. So <laughs> but I've got one more very, very, very important thing go to on, say. Go on. Cheers, one. Edge Two is called Celebrity Apex. We announced last week that she is launching in spring 2020 and will be sailing from. Southampton. Wow. You can pre-register now on sale 29th of November, but Edge Class 2 will be available and you can look, register there on the website. Definitely do that now. Please the do. demand is going to be massive. Ruth, you've got us in trouble again, but thank I you know. so much. And for the first six bookings, don't forget your gorgeous yeah. Kelly Hop and Hank Handle, which I have to take with me. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> Ruth, thank you so much. You're Seriously. Welcome. Amazing. Thank Amazing. You. Can't wait. Honestly, I'm, yeah, I am booking the edge. I'm just, I'm just looking at dates for next year, but I will definitely be booking the edge. I'm sure many of you will be tonight. But it, it's time for, is it time for Christmas? I don't know. Can I? Oh, it's, it's a little bit of Christmas jingle time. It is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're looking at Christmas markets next on a fabulous river cruise. Um, right. Let's talk you through. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, we're getting over the Christmas. No, news, yeah, but seriously, it's literally today. Twitter's gone mad because Christmas markets. I, I said this ten years ago when when me and the family started going over to Germany. Um, we we go because um, the the in laws um, they used to be in the forces and they spent a lot of time in Germany and they absolutely love German markets. So when Al, the, the likes of the, the the supermarkets, you know, the German supermarkets came over, they were like, brilliant, we can get all of our bratwurst, our bratwurst, our curryverse, all of the little, um, there's these, these little chocolates. 
um, that mother-in-law always, always likes. I always forget the name of them. I'll have to find out for Linda. But the Christmas market's very, very special. The food, the drink, the atmosphere. So much so, I made the decision in June to propose to my future ex-wife. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. I hate when um, he said that. It's so bad. No, but no, I planned in June. I thought, you know, Christmas market, what a beautiful yeah. place to... To actually, put, it was one of the um, most stressful days of my life, but I love the market. Now we will let you know. Just to know, we we, we get our notes for the show uh, on a Friday, and the notes for this cruise yes. had loads of, of, of uh, you know rooms available, lots of dates, and l since what Friday sets. So Four, four days, yep. so many of them are sold out. We've yeah. only got the French balcony remaining, haven't yes. we? Yes, I, I do have to point out, you know, what? obviously this is this year. This is yeah. not next. So we, we have been talking about a so, lot of 2019 and 2020 cruises. This is for this year. This December, you could be going to a Christmas market having glue vine, but having the, the, the wonderful food out there. I would definitely book tonight because we've, so we've had loads of sellouts before we even got to the live show. But um, I really do fancy this, actually. So let's just mm. give you a little taste. Now, the great thing is, um, there are flying options available, yep. but you can actually, on on our lead price and date there, you can actually take the rail from St Pancras, can't you? Yes, yeah, so it's, no it's Eurostar, yeah, yeah. Go, go Eurostar over to Cologne, and this, this is where your experience starts, because, you know, just imagine travelling in style over to the ship, joining the ship. This, the ship itself, again, we're talking just 139 passengers, about 34 oh, crew, lovely. lovely little atmosphere, great for families to go, and um, with this... Um, the first day in Rudersheim, you're actually enjoying breakfast on board as you're cruising the Rhine Gorge, and it's just stunning. And again, you might be thinking, OK, Christmas markets, just imagine all the little lights twinkling all the way along the, the shoreline. Magical, won't it? And stepping off, being all wrapped up and nice and warm, having those hot chocolates mm. with loads of cream. But you have your tours included. So you've got a fantastic um, walking tour, which I'll take you through shortly. Um, and after this, you're heading off to Koblenz. Now, again, Koblenz, the actual morning, you're going to be cruising on board along the river, um, uh, the River Rhine. And this, there's some dramatic scenery. I mean, you saw the castle just up on the hill there. It's actually where parts of the, the river actually come together, the Mosul and the Rhine. So you've got some fast running waters there. These ships are designed for this particular type of cruising. There's actually the, um, yeah, so if you can, can you see the, 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 the piece here, just the, the, the strut, the big V that comes out, the big triangle? Yeah, yeah. There's actually a big statue there. Um, I want to say Kaiser Wilhelm. I'm not too sure whether it is, but it's a beautiful statue you've got to go and get a picture with. And if you walk along the shoreline, is actually usually when they have Oktoberfest, where they have all the beer festivals, this is where you have all of the, the shorelines just, just with the gingerbread uh, men and all the traditional gifts. Oh, uh, I, I all love of that it. stuff. It's just yeah. brilliant. I mean, if you, I'm, I'm not being funny. In the UK, we, you know, you go to some places where they go, oh, it's a winter wonderland, it's a winter market. No, you go to Germany, it's done so, We're say, so well. We sometimes do it a bit on the uh, cheap and Tacky side, don't we? A little bit. Oh no, this is the authentic. This is a proper, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Anyway, then um, we're off uh, on to the next one. Uh, we're doing Bonn and Cologne, and this is actually an overnight on board. And again, you get to see you get to see seven different Christmas markets in this one cruise. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven different Christmas markets. Because don't don't forget, sometimes some of the cities they'll actually have two or three, three different right. markets. Um, so uh, it's just absolutely superb. Again, go and have some of the glue vine. Do you like glue vine? Yeah. If you want to really go for it, you yeah. have to have a little brandy with it as well, um, which is which is quite I'd, good. I'd be fine Sometimes with that. you buy, we, you, you can buy the mugs, and it's like you know we used to do a deposit thing for your, your lemonade bottles. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting old school now. Yeah, I remember But you that. can buy the mug, and then it's like a, a little bit of um, a memento to oh, take lovely. back. So. Uh, uh, and then of course. Uh, your Eurostar back to uh, St. Pancras. Isn't yeah, I think I think just to wrap it up in a nutshell, just just to keep oh. up, you know, if you want to do a Christmas market, a fantastic ship that you've got there, um, and get it before it sells out. Yeah. Because as I said, Honestly, Friday. So, yeah, so many have been selling out before the show, unfortunately. Uh, so let's show you what's included. Uh, so you've got the overnight on board. As said you get to explore seven Christmas markets. Uh, a tour of Koblenz there with the Old Town Christmas Market, free excursions included at every port there as well. Now this, uh, this um, price with the French balcony is based on the return rail journey from St Pancras. However, we have got more rail and flight options available at a supplement. So if you prefer to fly, we could organise that for you. And uh, the itineraries and ships differ depending on the departure date. Well, let's show you now. This grid was really big before with lots of <laughs> options. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. 
It's yeah. selling out fast. So we, we, we've had to make it big to show two dates. This is all that's left. The 11th of December, uh, French Balcony 749, and the 14th of December, 779. But that's all that's left. So you do need to book it tonight. 08 2662 I told you, we, we have got an amazing show, haven't we? But we've also got a mystery cruise. And we honestly don't know where this is going, so seriously. Uh, we really don't. But it's an eight-night mystery cruise from Dover. Even the captain, apparently, hasn't decided yet. Uh, no, no, but that's, that, that's the whole point, Sean, is when we get idea. on board, the captain will decide where he wants to go and what order the ports will I mean, be. I think that's great. It's something completely yeah. different. So um, it's on. Uh, it's with, of course, Fred Olsen. I've uh, been on Fred Olsen with mum. We had a great, great time. Um, and it's got to be the most affordable drinks package at sea because you can add on that from just £15 per person per night. And again, only deposit needed tonight from a pound per person. That starts at 619. But it is a complete mystery. Um, but take a deep breath. Everyone's talking about P&O's latest ship, the Iona. We have got the most incredible offer tonight on a brand new ship. Look at that price, 675. This is on my list, definitely. And we have got the fabulous Steph to tell us all about it. Steph, nice to see you. Hello, thank you for having we me. We are both very, very excited tonight. We really are. Good. Um, and, and I know um, before we look at uh, the clips of film, the owner for Pino, this is she's a real first. Oh, isn't a she? real first. We're so excited about her. She's going to offer something very different to our guests and to anybody that's never tried cruising before. So, so what are the new things? And well, tell us a bit the about first, them. it's tea time, isn't it? So it's all about dining. So the dining options on board are very different. Um, so everything from she's going to be the first ship in our fleet that's solely freedom dining. So we can. Oh, great! So no so, set times and so like that. no set times. So people that have never cruised holiday makers that don't want to have any sort of structure to their day they'll be able to dine in one of the four main restaurants from 6 30 till 9. So, so, so you've so got four main restaurants? Four main restaurants. And we can just pick and, and choose? They're and... all freedom dining so that's going to be wonderful wow. for And obviously us. all included. <laughs> and all included in the price of course. <laughs> and what are the other new things? So we'll there? have our first um, gastro pub so we always talk about how great our pubs are and we've never combined dining with the pubs so the fact that you'll be able to go to the Keeling Cow and get a nice breakfast or go and get the good old pub classics you know <sighs> The beer battered uh, fish and chips, go and have the steak and ale pie. And I was going to say some nice pies some as well. Some nice pies. Steak Good in the old, evening. Yeah, Ooh. steak in the evening. There's a dry aged fridge actually, so you'll be able to go and choose. Which I love it. Have you ever been to it? I, I, I don't know whether the viewers have, but you know, when you go into a restaurant and you see a deli counter effectively where you choose what's going to be cooked for you, that for me was one of the oh, best absolutely. things. And again, you know, I spent six years of PO to see where they've gone now. It's been a, a long time coming for a new ship. She's absolutely stunning. And she stunning. looks very different as she well. She looks she? very, very different. So I'm sure we're going to show a video of her yeah, in a just second. Just before we do, Steph. Um, for any because we've got obviously loads of regulars that adore PO, and they might oh. be worried thinking, yeah. oh, is everything new? Will it be, you know, will I still have the things I love about PO? Please don't worry. So we will never lose all of the signatures that our guests that currently travel with us know and love. So everything from the Headliners Theatre Company, so the West End style shows. But you know what? On Iona, we're going to have matinee performances. Fabulous. So it's something very different, but cool. our guests will yeah. know the Headliners Theatre Company. Company. Do we still have our tea and coffee? We still have the tea and coffee making facilities. We're still the pound sterling on board. <laughs> right. But you know what? We're still going to be working with our food heroes. So Ollie Smith, Marco Py, Eric Lanyard. So all of those signature things that our guests know it, and love. We're not getting rid of those. And, we're and just Neil Oliver, of course. Don't forget you know, Neil and John Bartram, <laughs> the it's cruise something. directors. <laughs> hey, honestly, <I'm> <laughs> And look at the price on this as well. But go oh, on, Steph, talk us through. It's absolutely incredible, the price. But look at this ship. And she is the biggest ship in our fleet. But we really are not necessarily looking at the size. We're looking at the choice that we can offer. Um, there's a huge sky dome that we're going to talk through in a second. But it will offer a different entertainment venue. Um, I love the infinity pools at the back. 16 whirlpools. 16? 16. 16 whirlpools. 
and then a huge promenade deck. So that's I mean, what our it, it sounds love. like a challenge, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? Can we see the, the, the glass dome? Yeah, let's have a look at so, the sky dome. So because what, what happens in, inside so here? So it's a really versatile uh, venue. So by day, it'll have a really nice English garden feel to it. So it's a nice indoor swimming pool. Um, I went to the fjords in May, boiling hot. I went in June and I wore a coat. So you definitely need an indoor pool. But by night, this venue really comes alive. So there'll be a retractable stage and we will host deck parties in here. So you'll be able to dance the night away under that lovely sky in the fjords. But there will be aerial acrobatic performances. Seriously? Yeah. So it will offer something different in terms of entertainment from the Headliners Theatre Company. So you'll be able to go to that show, but go to the Sky Doom and get something right. different. Steph, I would just say this. I would have expected that price to be twice as much so as So do that. I. I think mm. we're giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so why is it that price? And bear, bear in mind, we're, not, we're, not, we're only just scratching the surface. There's a yeah. lot that still hasn't been decided. Yeah. So over the next, well, we've still got another 18 oh, months. Oh, we've still got a lot to come. And there's 18 months. We're so, so oh, excited God. about it. But she's selling incredibly well. Yeah, so. I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm surprised at them prices. My mum's never been to the field, so I'm really tempted. But you have been, haven't I've you? I've been twice, luckily, this year. Yeah. So I well, loved it. Well, we filmed you there, didn't we? Yes, yeah. you did. Have a look at this. <laughs> Immersing yourself in the landscape is going to be a huge part of the whole Iona experience. You know, getting up really close to it all. Actually, it's a bit too close for me. I'm getting down now. <laughs> We're out of a job, Sean. <laughs> are we are. Have you seen her on location? <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, now, let's just um, run you through the fabulous uh, Fjord destinations. We're obviously sailing out of uh, Southampton. Uh, first day at sea, so just really explore that wonderful ship. And we're making our way over to, is it Stavanger, first of all? Yeah, Stavanger, lovely way to ease yourself into the Norwegian ports. And this, you've just got some great views. Lovely little fishing villages down there. But look at that. I mean, you've just oh, got to amazing. go and experience the scale of the fjords. It really is great. Uh, Olden is definitely one of my favourites. I know oh, it's Steph's favourites. It was my favourite. It's like sailing into a postcard. That's how I describe <laughs> like it. That, yeah. Sailing into a postcard. I tell you, if you do want to get a postcard, <laughs> you'll have to walk yeah. into the village. Yeah. But yeah. We'll steal that there's line, also right, the, right. the Brixton no. Glacier, which is, is one of the yes. big things to, to go and see and do there. Then you've got waterfalls in Granger Fjord. Granger Fjord, you've got the Seven Sisters, you've got the Bridal Veil Falls, and, and generally, I don't know, it's probably still the same. They'll do a commentary from the bridge, or somebody will talk you through the different um, uh, waterfalls that you see there. And then into Bergen, one of my favourite ports. I nearly actually missed the ship in Bergen. Oh, were you in the ice bar? No, I wasn't in the... Uh, no. oh, 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 she knows me well. I was in the ice bar. It was a late sail. I went up the vernicular rail <laughs> railway, went walking, it started getting dark. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, cap the captain wasn't too worried, though. <laughs> anyway, um, then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea, and that wraps it up. I've got to say, look, it's a very, very short overview of Norway. If you've never been to the fjords before, just go and do it and on this ship you just simply have to at that price i mean she is going to be amazing she's selling really quickly selling really yeah. quickly uh, and I, I don't know you at home but um if you've never been to the fjords to, to visit the fjords on a brand new ship that's going to be spectacular four screen boutique cinema as well yeah and the whole concept with iona is bringing the outside in so wherever you are you'll be able to see the yeah. sea the start the sea will be the star wow Absolutely. well let's just show you what's included and it's amazing prices can't believe it actually so you'd be one of the first to sail on Bod Pino's uh, newest ship. Uh, this price is based on the early saver. You can upgrade select price and receive loads of extras uh, like free on board spend and port parking, coach transfers. Again, just ask the, uh, the cruise consultants all about that. Hang on, children sell for free? Oh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So oh we didn't get chance to People mention did that not one. believe that at no. launch. Yeah, I, I ne I never I done that before. That. Um, <laughs> Uh, we have got that exclusive deposit starting from just a pound per person and obviously with this cruising out of Southampton you can stay in the Holiday Inn in Winchester from just £95 per person to get breakfast, parking, port transfers. Now you might need to adjust your glasses when you see the prices on this because have a look. Seriously, um, they are incredible. Prices starting as little as 6 and 5 and even the balconies and the mini suites Incredible. Though. So it's only a mini suite Absolutely. that goes over. It's costing you over a thousand pounds. Everything else is under a thousand pounds. That is yeah. Yeah. phenomenal it for really a balcony for, and a brand new brand ship. Brand new ship. Um, now I just need to say goodbye to Steph in a second. Uh, in fact, should I do that now?
because we're so we're out of time stuff. Oh, I'd love what to keep a shame. talking. Sorry. Okay. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you very much for having so me. Exciting. Yeah, looking forward to hearing more about it. It's yeah. just released. Definitely. So thank, thank you. you again. Right, I need to take a breath now. Uh, but because we've just got a uh, a little sneaky deal that's come in right now. Um, again, I, I said at the beginning of the show, one of the best shows we've had, maybe the best this year. Look at this one. How about a 14-night Pride of Panama and Cuban Fusion from Montego Bay? So I'm you, game. <laughs> well, look at this. You, I mean, I, I don't mind you, but sometimes I find a couple of weeks before Christmas really stressful. You're going to be away, getting an amazing tan. We've got exclusive pricing. This is all inclusive as yeah. well, just in. Yeah, two of course. Weeks. Well, overnight in Havana is definitely going to be the highlight, but you've got places like Grand Cayman in there, uh, Puerto Le Mans, Cologne as well, so South America, and some of the great ports around uh, Cuba. It's just that, that it, for me. unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, and return all, flights, they're based on Manchester on all this inclusive. one as well. And they're all inclusive. So that's your, uh, your drinks exactly. and your tips. My hairdresser went... Uh, oh, <laughs> He went to this part of the world, and uh, you know, I'll be honest, he was a bit disappointed with this hotel and stuff like that. Uh, Lee, if you're he watching, didn't book with he, he should have done this. Oh, he didn't. No, definitely not. I was going to say. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, just He did a hotel stay. This is going to involve the fantastic Discovery 2. Did you Marella. see um, Did you see when Jane McDonald was out there recently? It's just going to go back oh, a few I did. months. Oh, yeah, I did. She had such a great time going out. That's all. She did a bit of yeah. salsa. And... Yeah. Yeah. I did see that one, yeah. Salsa, cigars, and Bacardi. <laughs> Other brands are available. <laughs> so that, um, by the way, that's just come down in price. So it works out less than £600 per week, and that's all your drinks, all your tips, and your flights, of course, as well. I know. Good tonight, isn't it? Uh, anyway, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to move on to uh, another favourite, and this one is with Princess Cruises. Now, um, I'm looking here you're going to get some gar virtually guaranteed fantastic weather around the Canaries. But before we show you the itinerary, let's take you on board with our Jade. Regardless of which Princess Cruises ship you get on, you'll find yourself with a host of dining, entertainment and relaxation options to suit your needs. Whether you prefer the traditions of set time dining or you prefer to pick when, where and who you eat with, the option is yours on board a Princess ship. Princess Cruises have always taken speciality dining to the next level, from the sumptuous steaks in the Crown Grill through to the incredible Italian flavours of Sabatini's. The first of two new offerings is Steamer's Seafood, where you can feast on amazing shellfish, all accompanied by generous sides and dipping sauces. The second new taste sensation is Planks, serving up American-style barbecue options on planks, loaded with four meats, chilli, coleslaw and fries, Oh, and some really incredible looking desserts. Princess Cruises love looking after the whole family during your cruise. Camp Discovery offers three different age categories and areas, all themed in collaboration with the Discovery Channel. Children aged 3 to 17 will have everything they need to keep them amused for hours at a time. Whichever Princess Cruises ship you go on, you are sure to find something entertaining happening. From the street performers in the piazza through to the full Broadway style productions in the Princess Theatre. But this is Princess, so we can't talk about entertainment without mentioning the movies under the stars up here on deck. Whichever stateroom you pick, you'll get comfortable beds, a flat screen TV, mini bar and bathroom with shower. If you're looking for a bit of extra outside space, then an upgrade to a balcony is a must. For that touch of luxury though, suites are the perfect option, offering you extra space and amenities in your room and complimentary access to the Lotus Spa Thermal Suite, amongst other exclusive benefits. Oh, well, Princess, again, amazing mm. standards, incredible quality. Uh, cruising a couple of years ago, and it, yeah, it, it, was, it was outstanding, actually. But, um, again, nice and easy, this one. So, out of Southampton, take as much luggage as you like. And I love that, because you cruise that straight away, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, but just what a deal, you know. A pound yeah. deposit, free upgrade to a balcony, and bear in mind, it's still 24-hour complimentary room service as well. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be making the balcony. That is incredible. Isn't it? Exactly. Um, so we're off to Vigo. Uh, yes, lovely we are. ports. Um, straight away, you've got the Museum of Modern Art here, um, or you've got some lovely. I mean, this is cafe culture. This is the place that if you want to go out, have some lovely little. Um, uh, I was going to say tapas, but it's just just absolutely stunning. Then a nice relaxing day at sea. We're off to Madeira. Now Madeira, it's all about the flower market. It's all about that fantastic climate as well. Head up into the hills, come down in a basket. 
and hit the botanical gardens in between as well. Tenerife, while it's 365 days of sun, it's just superb. Whether you go to the, the main town of Santa Cruz or if you want to do something family orientated, go to Loro Park and it's like a big water sports and um, uh, great um, uh, wildlife there. Then Gran Canaria, well, uh, Gran Canaria gets about 10 days of rain each year. Is that all? Yeah. So uh, definitely popular. Mas Palomas is definitely probably going to be one of the big places. There's the Columbus Museum as well, if you want to do something a little bit more studious. Um, and there's also the Bandama Crater as well. Then we're off to Lanzarote. Lanzarote, again, you've just got to get out. Get out of the town. The town's lovely itself, but if you head out, then you can see some of the fantastic mountains, the Montanas del Fuego. Or mountains of fire. Uh, there's also a lot of Caesar Manrique. Uh, if you love the design of Caesar Manrique, if you don't, then you'll soon know about him when you go to Lanzarote. Then uh, that really wraps it up. It's two days back into Southampton, and that wraps up a lovely seven. Uh, now the, 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 day in, the inside price there starts at nine seven nine, but we have got it's an amazing price on the balcony. We've got a free upgrade. I'll show that in a second. Uh, but the inside they're starting at just nine seven nine, and I can honestly say the standards with Princess, they are outstanding. They've got such a great reputation, haven't they? Yeah, the ship's lovely as well, because bear in mind, there, there, was, there was only two ships that were actually built in Japan. This is one of them, oh. so well, she's a lovely ship. Uh, great entertainment, of course, as well. So, um, yeah, we are giving you a free outside to balcony cabin upgrade. I'll show you the price of that in a second. 24-hour complimentary room service, uh, deposit starting from just a pound per person and uh, it works out if you go for the inside it works out under 90 pounds per person per night and that is really good when you think you are away for 11 nights in this one it's not just a week it's 11 well, you pay nights. for a hotel in the uk for one night yeah. and that's not including entertainment food yeah. the great scenery social you know socializing with other people it's great uh, and uh, as ever you can also stay at the Holiday Inn, of course, from just £95 per person. Right, price-wise as well. Uh, so the inside starts at £9.79, but we say we've got a fantastic price on the balcony because you will get a free upgrade tonight from outside to a balcony. And um, I was looking, if I, uh, on one of my cruises with Princess, I stayed in a mini suite and they're really nice. Really nice. Um, we think 1759 for mini suite. That's seen a lot more room on the space. Yeah. Really good on that one as well. So if it, is, it, was, for, it was for friend's 50th birthday, so it was a, a very special occasion. But uh, do look into those as well. Uh, now we have. So I want to do more. I mean, <laughs> but we've got one final cruise, and, and whenever we bring you celestial, all inclusive, and this is. This is excursions, you get three excursions, um, tips, drinks for under £1,050 and a wonderful itinerary as well. So let's take you on board and have a little look. So let's just talk about uh, Celestial first of all as a company. They're easily one of the best selling cruise lines that Planet Cruise has at the moment. They've got smaller ships, they're dedicated to quality. In fact, we can't say who they train, but they train some of the staff, some of the other top cruise lines that we may have talked about this evening. But for me, it's all about, if you want to go to the Greek islands, who do you go with? You go with a specialist. Yeah. And Celestial have got exclusive, I believe, rights where they're the only ship that can stay in overnight in Santorini. Now, if you've looked into uh, staying in Greece, then you'll know that staying in, in, in Santorini overnight is near enough impossible unless you actually stay there for a week. But this is all part and parcel of it. And you're getting to see Mykonos, Milos, um, Heraklion and uh, Ephesus as well. So all of that is going to be included. Um, it is just, it's, it's easily one of the best selling ones at the moment. And you can see why. Great value. And they're specialists in their field. I've just got to point out, just while I've got two seconds as well, that recently that they won a gold award in travel experience for tourism. Uh, they also got a gold award in travel experience, uh, sorry, travel experience and sailing in the tourism wars, and second place in category for service and best entertainment. I'd actually go to say great entertainment on board. It's not about the entertainment. It's about the destination. Yeah. It's about the experience. It's the fact that you've got a ship that's 25,000 tons. You've got 406 crew, but a maximum of somewhere between 900 and 1,200 passengers. Right. So, it's, so you're going to be really well looked after. Yeah. Um, and again, value-wise, when you think, you know, you've got all your tips, all your drinks. Yeah. You've got 
is it three excursions on those? Three excursions. And, and a Planet Cruise exclusive, you actually get 50 euros on yeah. that spend as well. So yeah. Also, if you actually book tonight, you'll be entered into a prize draw where you can get a celestial oh, goodie bag yes. as well. Yes. So uh, mm. check out the, the website for all the terms so and anyway, conditions. Let's, but, uh, let's run through the, uh, the wonderful itinerary on this one. Yeah, you're joining Athens and heading off straight away to Mykonos. Mykonos is absolutely stunning. I missed out on the chance of going on holiday here with the other half. She had a fantastic time. She didn't come back with a Greek, though. That's the main thing. I thought, it's, it's Shirley Valentine. I thought she was oh, going to run it off. You get, all, look, you get all romantic, these whitewashed walls and blue ceiling. Uh, lovely. And the windmills, that's the Shirley Valentine. You see? But she... But... <laughs> she, yeah, she come back she up to back, me. Yeah. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> but that is an overnight on board, and I can't stress it enough to be in a place like Mykonos, where you see the sun set on one of the bars just on the hillside. Um, it just looks stunning, stunning. Then we're to Milos. This is this is again. Uh, so, some of the ports is all about glamour. It's all about um, you know uh, where you go and what to do. This this is just purely uh, about chilling out, relaxing and a little bit of history as well, because the Aphrodite of Milos, which is the centerpiece of the, um, uh, oh, the Louvre in Paris, is actually from this island. So I she's the famous Greek yeah, statue yeah, yeah. with no arms. Yeah. So, but it's absolutely stunning. Then we're into Santorini, uh, which is overnight on board. And again, this is, you know, when, when you look at postcards, this is the stereotypical Greek uh, yoga advert. It is the place to go, and it's absolutely stunning. Look at the crystalline waters there. Just imagine wandering around those streets with lovely li white linen, big floppy hats, big glasses. You're just going to be like a film star. And it's again, it is an overnight on this one. An overnight, can't, and it's the only, only particular cruise line that can stay in overnight. And by the way, you do get an excursion included there as well. The next two ports, Heraklion and Ephesus, Kuzidasi, this is where you get another two uh, excursions. One in Heraklion, um, and again, there's loads to see the, here. Uh, Spinalonga Island, Alundia, um, you've got the Byzantine history here as well. Um, a lot of, lot of history. That's why, again, excursion included. Then we're off to Ephesus. Now, one of the things about going with a specialist is they're the best way to do things. If you go on a larger ship, and there's nothing wrong with larger ships, but when you go to a port like this, it will take naturally longer for the yeah. passengers to get off. Of course. With only a few hundred passengers, you can get off quicker. Also, you get there earlier before it gets really, really hot. And this is one of the things you get there early while it's nice and cool. You can wander around, enjoy it, and then get back to the ship for a little cheeky Uzo cocktail. Um, and that is again an excursion that's included. And then uh, back to Athens, of course, where you disembark and you're transferred to the airport and flown back yeah. home. Um, my, I, I love the Greek islands, really do. So let's just imagine what's included tonight. So um, it's an all-inclusive cruise, that's your tips, and that's exclusive discounts as well. Uh, we've got an exclusive tonight with Planet Cruise, so uh, everyone booking uh, will get free uh, euros, that's 50 euros. Oh, that's per person as well? Yeah. Onboard spend, that's really good actually. Um, free shore excursions, I think it's better than this one, isn't it? You've got th free shore excursions there as well. I mean, they could be quite expensive, not they? Couldn't they, excursions? Yeah, but, but again, you know when you go and there's certain places you have to do an excursion because that's what the port that you're going to, <laughs> it's the ones that they've included. Yeah. So it's not just and, sort of something random. Uh, we took flights, they are based from uh, London and uh, now um, transfers not included but can be added, of course. And if you'd like to add on a pre or post hotel stay in Athens, just call for details. And price wise, amazing value. So the, uh, the inside there is uh, starting at just £1,049 per person. But the outside junior suites, singles are really good on this one yeah, as well, aren't they? Yeah, no, really, really good. Yeah, just please, in there. You know, we, we touched on what's included, what's not included. Any doubt at all, ever, with any show, give us a call. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk you through it because we, we've only got a few minutes to go through each cruise. We can't cover everything. Please, we're the specialists. We'll talk you through it. And when you're happy, you can book it. Yeah, but... Um, this always sells really quickly. Yeah. Always. Oh, let's. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at the drinks. Uh, so, selected spirits, beers, and cocktails, and that includes, of course, your Greek-flavored ouzo cocktails as well. We do um, include non-alcoholic cocktails as well, so sodas, iced teas, juices, sparkling and mineral water, and a wide range of hot beverages. I love my cappuccinos. They are included, and those um, excursions—they're all part of the deal as well. So you've got three wonderful 
excursion as well. Now, Justin, you mentioned a, a goodie bag competition. Yes, if you're booking this evening uh, for uh, uh, from the actual show tonight, just have to point that out, check out the website for terms and conditions, you will be entered into a competition to win a celestial goodie bag, including olive oil and a little bit of the best uh, ouzo around. <laughs> well, it's the best ouzo in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes. That's the, uh, I love a goodie bag, I really do. I thought you were going to say I love a little bit of Uzo. Well, I love that as well. Uh, anyway, what what a show. Um, now, we are going to do a, a recap, but we just wanted to give you a little teaser of next week's Planet Cruise show. Have a look at this. Have you ever dreamt of going to the Far East but not sure where to begin? Well, look no further because on Tuesday, the 2nd of October at 8 p.m. on Ideal World TV, Planet Cruise have teamed up with Wendy Rood Tours to bring you bucket list once in a lifetime cruise and tour holidays to Asia and South America in a special edition of the Planet Cruise TV show. With over 20 years of knowledge and experience, Wendy Wu know the perfect recipe to create extraordinary memories. So tune in to Ideal World on the 2nd of October at 8 p.m. where myself and Wendy Wu will take you through fascinating parts of the world, creating you the holiday of a lifetime. Yeah, that's next week's show with the one and only Wendy Wu. But let's recap. I've really enjoyed tonight, haven't you? Take a deep breath. Yes. I'm taking a year off, booking them all. Uh, so we're starting off with MSC, and um, what an amazing year. Free inside to balcony cabin upgrade. Great drinks packages for £24 per person. And again, just a pound per person deposit. So prices starting from just a pound per person deposit there as well. And that's a balcony, of course, upgrade for the 4th of September. Also, we had tonight, we had a guest from Celebrity Ruth was here telling oh, us about yes. the brand new ship. The Celebrity Edge, it was traveling the French Riviera. This is just a stunning ship, and at that price, absolutely unbelievable. ID number 159952. And then, oh, the best way of seeing and experiencing those fabulous Christmas markets. It's a four-night uh, enchanting uh, markets by Real Crew. So if you don't like flying, don't forget, this is uh, using the Eurostar uh, from St Pancras. We can, of course, fly you as well, but the price of that starts at 7 for night. Only a few uh, French balconies remaining, don't forget. A lot of the, uh, the stadiums sold out, so do be super quick. Everyone wants to do that, don't they? Yeah, definitely. Well, if you want to be one of the first people to cruise on the new p and Iona, oh, I do. then uh, get on the phone lines. Um, this was just just superb. Um, made in season seven nights from 675, ID number 189162. I am still amazed at how affordable that is for a brand new ship. For a brand new ship. Yeah. And bear in mind, this is 2020 we are talking about. I mean, that, I, sorry, I think that's fabulous, really do. And then, what, a, what an amazing deal also, Princess. So, uh, the inside starts at 979, but we did have a free outside to balcony cabin upgrade on this one. 24 hour room service, uh, again, a deposit starting from a pound per person, and it works out, if you go for the inside at 979, it works out under £90 per person per night. Uh, and Princess really can emphasise that they really are premium, fantastic. Yeah. And then, finish off with be the absolute best seller, this is, is undoubtedly one of the most popular because of the value and the speciality. If you want to do the Greek islands, do it with a gold award winning Greek cruise line, uh, which is Celestial. Uh, with this one, you get 50 pounds, uh, sorry, 50 euros per person on board spend, and you get the three free excursions as well. Um, that is ID number 162963. Um, can I say a massive thank you to Justin and our special guests, Ruth and Steph. Big thank you to everyone that tunes in every Tuesday. We'd love to have your company, of course. Yeah, and of course, don't forget, you know, tonight there's so, so much to get through. Just give us a call. Yeah. Ask any questions that you want with the specialists. Justin, uh, we will see you soon on yeah, the show. Yeah, a couple of Oh, times. we also had the, um, the Mr. Cruise with Fred Olsen and that Morella as well, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, out to Cuba and Havana. Yeah, so give us a call right now uh, and we'll see you next week with, of course, Planet Cruise and Wendy Wu. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.